Hello and welcome to another OPR Tuesday topic. Bradley Kosaski here with Central Washington University's Outdoor Pursuits and Rentals. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel, CWU Recreations YouTube channel, so you can come back and visit uh, these videos and other cool videos that myself and students are producing. Today we are going to take a look at a, a stern oar frame, something that we rent at OPR, and we're just I'm going to show you how to put that together, how to put that on a raft. So if you want to come in and rent one of our 14 foot self bailing rafts, you can get an oar frame with it. Uh, behind me, you'll see some rafting equipment, oar frames, oars, paddles, pumps, PFDs, and the raft. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's put everything together. <laughs> Checking out some things. Uh, yeah, so a quick big picture. Uh, 14 foot self bailing raft with a stern oar frame that I actually put in the middle of the raft. That way the rower can uh, try and pivot around the most center point of the raft and that just makes it easier to maneuver the raft. But uh, it can be put in the stern, which is the back of the raft. Uh, that's where it's designed to go, but it totally works right there. If you put it in the back, you have a few more seats. You can, this thwart would be removed. This frame would be all the way back. And this thwart would, this thwart would go back in. And then you would have one, two, three, four spots for someone to sit and help you paddle if you needed to be 
in uh, if you needed that for whatever reason or if you just wanted that um, you can still fit four people in the raft you just might have some folks behind you or fit three up here but uh, um, yeah so stern frame put in the middle of the raft we have uh, our paddles something that's that's noteworthy right off the bat if something's gonna be in a raft it needs to be tied down doesn't matter what it is unless you're gonna be holding it the whole time like a paddle for example paddles don't need to be tied down unless you have an extra paddle which is what I have tied in back here an emergency paddle in case we lose one same thing over here with this oar. this other oar is extra in case we lose one right you need to have extra paddles or oars or both if that's gonna be how you maneuver the raft down the river you don't want to be caught in a situation where you lose one of the oars and now you have one oar. that would be not fun okay uh, so as far as raft goes the oars are in as you see and the raft is tied down at all four corners then over here and it's harder to see that one over there but you have here you have opposite and opposing forces same thing over here and over here um, so that they pull against each other that way right I can lift the raft up a little or the, the frame up a little bit but it doesn't go anywhere also I have some stuff back here that's in the raft um, extra stuff so I have an extra PFD it's always a good idea to have an extra PFD I've already pointed out the paddle I've got a pump down here my water bottle and a dry a dry bag with whatever you might want to have in it cell phone keys lunch wallets um, whatever sunscreen just stuff you might want to have on the river because remember everything in the raft except for you or something in your hand needs to be tied down and so I have this right here I think this might be a six foot uh, NRS strap that I used around the uh, the thwart put an overhand on a bite clipped a carabiner to it quick note on carabiners always use a locking carabiner never 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 use a non-locking carabiner why because a non-locking carabiner can accidentally engage something like the back of a PFD or something that you might need uh, right away or not want to be attached to a locking carabiner can't clip to anything it's already it's locked it can't clip to anything but what's already in it got my water bottle tied to that um, if uh, well not if but anytime you're on uh, a river you really should have a throwback and this is for emergency use now ideally you would know how to use it this isn't typically something OPR rents but if you're gonna rent one of these uh, setups and raft some class 3 then we are gonna strongly recommend you use one of these so uh, ask us about it maybe we can work work something out with you all right okay so again up here this uh, strap is used for water bottles uh, so the other paddlers can uh, have something to attach you or dry bag whatever also note the metal cam of the carabiner i'm uh, not carabiner sorry the strap should be underneath the thwart should be away from the uh, points of possible skin contact wet skin on something like that sudden impact or scrape across that could hurt so hide that thing under the thwart um, when you are using any cam straps you will have extra uh, you'll have an extra tail that's not being used uh, you want to tie it up some way I use the daisy chain because that's pretty easy to undo uh, whatever you tie just make sure you can undo it if you tie a bunch of knots and you can't undo the knots please don't cut the uh, webbing please untie the knots um, because if you if you tie knots and you can't get the knots undone, you can't um, feed the webbing strap back through the camming device. Um, here, I just used a girthage, excuse me, around 
the uh, D-ring. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you'll see that this is this is better. I'm going to need to redo the other side. Uh, if I can avoid it, I want to keep the chicken line. This thing here, which is a uh, helps people self-rescue out of the raft or gives them something to hang on to if they fall out. Uh, this um, should be outside of the girth hitch. Shouldn't be tied up in the girth hitch. Just good practice that way. Um, it's not the end of the world if you do it the other way, but um, I like to uh, have my knots clean, so I'm gonna address that before I get this thing on the on the river. Okay. The uh, oar frame. So let me just set this down here. And the way this works is sit here, feet go down here in the foot straps, and you have this that's between you, and it's like rowing a boat. Um, so that's how you would sit in an oar frame. Okay, one last look. Well, we've got the uh, this line. The bow line, we'll just tuck that in there for now. Uh, you'd want that ideally in the raft out of the water. Maybe daisy chained up uh, so the tail's out of the way. But it's in the back, not much is gonna be going on back there. All right. So, you can rent this from Outdoor Pursuits and Rentals. Don't remember what it costs right now, but I will tell you that it's a steal. There is not a better deal anywhere. Unless, of course, maybe you are a student at another school, then you probably have great deals there too. All right, there you have it. Uh, no oar frame with oars, cam straps, all that comes together with the raft package. And a raft package for a 14 foot self bailing raft includes um, eight PFDs, personal flotation device, also called life jackets, six paddles, a pump, uh, not the fancy electric one I used, but good old hand pump, make you strong. And uh, yeah, so raft comes with uh, six paddles, eight PFDs, and a pump, and the uh, 14 foot self bailing raft the oar frame package comes with three oars the frame and enough cam straps to lash it to one of the 14 foot rafts uh, if you want extra cam straps to lash water bottles to the raft or dry bag or uh, extra paddles pfds uh, that's not something that we typically rent feel free to ask us about it uh, but more than likely you'll, you'll need to provide something else. Just remember if you're going down the river It's good practice and a must in class 3 or bigger whitewater to have everything tied down Because if for some reason your raft flips uh, And its stuff isn't tied down say goodbye. It's gone. It's floating down the river If you're lucky other people in the party will pick it up for you If not, it's gone and it would be a bummer if you lost your keys wallet and cell phone Especially if you were traveling on that trip to float a section of river. Okay, again, Bradley Kosowski with Outdoor Pursuits and Rentals at Central Washington University. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, Tuesday topic. Uh, please hit the like button below, subscribe to this YouTube channel, see uh, Central Washington University Recreation YouTube channel uh, where you'll find more cool videos just like this one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call Outdoor Pursuits and Rentals at 509-963-3537. Uh, we are happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, you can rent these by the day, by the weekend, or by the week, or you know, longer than that if you like. Uh, but uh, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you outside.